Out of the night that covers me, black is the pit from pole to pole. I thank whatever gods may be for my uncomfortable soul. In the foul clutch of circumstance, I have not winced nor cried aloud. Under the bludgeonings of chance, my head is bloody but unbowed. Beyond this place of wrath and tears, looms but the horror of the shade. And yet the menace of the years finds and shall find me unafraid. It matters not how straight the gate, how charged with punishment the school. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. Nearly a hundred years after those words were written by William Ernest Henley, Nelson Mandela would repeat them to himself, while unjustly imprisoned on Robben Island for defending human rights in an apartheid South Africa. Nelson Mandela is a noble man. Nelson Mandela is a noble man because he is patient, he is peaceful, and he is persuasive. Nelson Mandela is, pe er, is patient because he dedicated over 50 years of his life to seeing the end of apartheid in South Africa. According to HistoryTimeline.org, I'll take you through a quick run through of a little of his endeavors. In 1939, he was asked to leave college because of peacefully protesting in a boycott against university discrimination policies. In 1948, he became a political rights activist for the American National, African National Congress. Then, in 1952, he created the first all-black law firm South Africa had ever had, and he gave free or low-cost legal counsel to black Africans who would not have had representation otherwise. In 1964, however, Nelson Mandela was charged with sabotage and treason against the state and sentenced to a lifetime of imprisonment. For the next 27 years of his life, he would repeat those words that William Ernest Henley wrote. Finally, in 1990, he was released. And in 1991, he went on to become the president of the African National Congress. Three years later, apartheid finally ended in South Africa. Nelson Mandela waited for 50 years to see his life's work accomplished. He is a patient man. Nelson Mandela is also patient, but additionally, he is peaceful. Peaceful for the reasons he is patient, but also because, as NobelPrize.org would record, in 1993, Nelson Mandela was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. Aside from being peaceful and aside from being patient, Nelson Mandela was extremely persuasive. In 1994, when the apartheid ended, it was the first time in all of its history that South Africa had multiracial democratic elections for president. Nelson Mandela won that vote. And it was also the first vote that he had ever cast in his entire lifetime. Additionally, while being president, his entire state was at discord. So, with his art of persuasion and his use of patience and peace, Nelson Mandela not only persuaded the white Africans and the black Africans to accept one another and take a step forward, but he encouraged them to forgive, uniting South Africa for the first time. Only a truly persuas persuasive man could have done that. Now, today, Nelson Mandela is 94 years old. He spent the rest of his life working for not only like political rights and human rights, but still reiterating anti-apartheid affiliations in South Africa. He finally retired when he was 85. Nelson Mandela is a truly noble man. He is a man of patience, a man of peace, and a man of persuasion. As Nelson Mandela would say, it matters not how straight the gate, how charged with circum punishment the scroll. I am the master of my fate, and you are the captain of your soul.